Hi guys, Sox Studio here, and for today, we are going to share our step-by-step -step process in creating architectural visualizations, from the initial rendering until after the post-production process. The software that we use for our architectural renderings is Lumion, and for the post-production process, we use Adobe Photoshop CC. For the Lumion model that we would be using on this tutorial, we actually have it posted in our Gumroad website, which is LCT House 1. We'll put the link of the website down below so you can easily download it if you would be interested in also doing the visualization with us. The file is free to download, or you can also donate any amount of money, thank you very much. The version of LCT House 1 is Lumion 10, so only people with Lumion 10 or higher versions of Lumion will be able to open the model. So here's the front exterior of LCT House 1. It is a basic modern bungalow house. All of the entourage, lighting, and details have already been placed in this Lumion model, so we will just focus on the rendering side of things. But if you would also want to learn on how to create similar Lumion models, just comment down below. Click this camera icon right here and there should be a captured image already in set. For the focal length when capturing an image, it would be better if we set it at least 28mm or above. This would make the captured image less distorted on the sides. Now for the rendering effects, Lumion already provided us with some great presets, so we are just going to use one of those. For this image in particular, we are going to use the daytime exterior one. This would already look nice, but we're going to edit some of these default effects and then we're going to add some of our own. First effects that we will be editing is the real skies. Basically, the heading dictates where the sun would be located. After the heading, we would want to play around with the brightness and overall brightness. When using real skies that don't have that much cloud or details, it's okay to set the brightness in a much higher setting. But with realistic clouds that have more details, it would be preferable if we set the brightness in a lower setting. Since if we set the brightness too high, the details the sky would vanish. For the sharpen effects, let's only add a little bit. Exposure effects is already okay at 0.5. For the color correction, the default setting is already good. The hyperlight effects is also already good. For the skylight effects, we have to on both planar and projected reflections, then set the render quality into ultra. For the brightness, we are just going to add a bit. This is to make the ambience of the sky brighter. For the saturation, it would be okay to just set it in 1, since this would be already enough to capture the color of the daytime atmosphere. Let me just edit a few more on the real skies. Okay, this is good enough, as well as for the exposure. For the depth of field, we prefer not to use it. For the reflection effects, click the edit reflection plane. This would enable us to click on the surfaces that are made out of glass or highly glossy surfaces. So for this one, we would want to click all of the glasses which could be seen in front of the house. Also set the reflection threshold into max. For the shadow effects, the default effects from Lumion is already good for our exterior setting. Now for the additional effects, we would want to add the print poster enhancer effects. This would make the final rendered image more high quality. Just make sure that it is enabled. We also want to add the bloom effects. This is to add that cloudy effect on the image. Just set it in a low setting around 0.1. We also want to add autumn color effects. We really don't have to edit anything with this one. This is just to make the colors pop more. We also want to add the fog effects. This is just to add on the ambience on the background. Next, we are going to add the noise effects. Just make sure to set the intensity in a very low setting. We are also going to add the lens flare effects. The default setting for the lens flare would do for our scene, so we don't have to change anything for this one. And that is pretty much it for the Lumion rendering effects. Click the green box right here to render this image. We usually use the print size for our visualizations. Choose a folder and name your rendered image and we are basically done. So that's it for our initial rendered image. This is what the rendered image would look like with just rendering it with Lumion. And this is after applying post-production with Adobe Photoshop CC. For the post-production step-by-step process, we have a part 2 separated tutorial video for that. If you have any questions, kindly write it down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Thank you.